Aloha everybody, welcome back to my channel and happy Vlogmas Day 14. Yeah, losing track of the days. Um, wow, next week already is Christmas. It's crazy how fast time is going. And um, yeah, in two weeks it's actually gonna be 2021. Jesus. But anyways, today's video is going to be naming my top 15 favorite Christmas movies for the year 2020. Now, keep in mind, I have a lot of favorite Christmas movies. Um, this is just like my top 15 that I've been wanting to watch or have watched already. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. Okay, so we're gonna start at number 15 is Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That's the one that is um, starred Jim Carrey. Um, always loved that one. It was just, I don't know, I just love watching it. I also saw it when I went to Universal Studios, like you know the small portion of it, so it has a very special place in my heart, um, which you can find on Netflix. Going at number 14, Operation Christmas Drop. This is a fairly new one to me at least, I don't know if it was out earlier, but you can also find this on Netflix. It stars Cat Graham and Alexander Ludwig, I think if I said his last name right. It's a romantic film. I had no complaints about it. I thought it was good. Number 13, this is also on Netflix, is Princess Switch 1 and 2. Um, that's the one with Vanessa Hudgens and she like runs into her doppelganger and they like switch places and one's like the Duchess and one is just like a normal girl from Chicago. A baker. There you go, she's a baker. Those are really good movies. I liked it. I knew it. The second one was really good too. Um, yeah, I can't really explain too much. You guys are just gonna have to go and see it. Number 12 is the Christmas Cupid. This stars Christina. I forgot her last name. Um, but she's on a lot of Christmas films and she was also in one of the Bring It On movies. Um, this one it's kind of, it's like I like romantic movies, so it's a romantic movie. Um, it's basically kind of like the Christmas Carol, but she is changing her love life instead of the way she acts. I guess it's the same plot, just different scenarios. There you go. Number 11 is Frosty the Snowman. This is the um, one of those Christmas classics from like the old time. It's the cartoon one. Again, I personally love it. It has a very special place in my heart because I saw this when I was a kid. So it's always just been very memorable to me. Number 10 is Disney's A Christmas Carol. That's the one that also stars Jim Curry. Jim Curry? Jim Carrey. I think I said Jim Curry on the fifth, number 15 too. Oh my goodness. It stars Jim Carrey. I don't know. I just like that movie. I guess the way it was filmed, the way it was directed, and um, of course it follows the storyline about how he's it's Ebenezer Scrooge. He is really mean and rude and grumpy and he has to change his ways or he will you know, die and everybody will be like super happy that he died kind of thing. Number nine. This is another romantic film. It is Holiday in Handcuffs. This one was starred in Freeform. Um, I believe if you have Spectrum, it's under inter Entertainment on Demand and you can see it there. Same with Christmas Cupid. It's the one that has Mario Lopez. I don't know, I just have, I'm a sucker for romantic movies and, just, and Christmas, so two the better. Uh, basically, it just it's about this girl who her family has a lot of expectations for her and she gets really tired of it so then she kid kidna kidnaps a guy who stars Mario Lopez and she makes him pretend that he's her boyfriend so that her parents would get off her back. Number eight is Mistletoe's. I like this one just because, I don't know, it just makes me feel Christmassy because it's caroling and Christmas. <laughs> but this is also a freeform movie, so it's also on entertainment on demand. It's not showing on freeform this year. Because freeform has the 25 days of Christmas and they show different movies each year. So I believe this year they're really showcasing like the Grinch, the Christmas classics, and all that stuff. Um, number seven is Home Alone 1 and 2. Again, special place in my heart because it was something I watched when I was a kid and I just love the idea that he 
had to defend his home when his family had forgotten him at home. Number six, the Santa Claus Trilogy. Every time I watch it now, it just brings me back to my childhood days. And the Santa Claus Trilogy, or at least one and two, definitely hit my childhood. The third one came more when I was like, I guess, a teenager. So, but the third one was still really good. I, that's the one with Tim Allen. Yeah, I don't know. I really just like those movies. And Tim Allen is a really good actor, so. Number five is another Christmas classic movie. It is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's the one that the kind of the, um, actually, if you've seen my Vlogmas Day, I think it was the night routine one. I forget what day that was, but it was a night routine. And I was watching Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I saw one that's like, it's, it's the doll animated ones. Even though it's like really weird, it also hits home and my childhood. So <sighs> Always feels good to look back down memory really. Which brings me to the next um, Christmas classic. Number four is Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Another doll animated movie. Another movie that has hit a soft spot in my heart. Um, something I used to watch with my family growing up. All the um, Christmas classics. I believe there was like two more or there was like a total of five or four. Um, it was Santa Claus is Coming to Town, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, The Little Drummer Boy, and I think there was a cricket, Silent Cricket or something like that. Um, the other two didn't really catch my interest. I mean, they were they were good, but didn't really wasn't really interested in that. Down to our top three now. Number three is Elf. Uh, that's the one that stars Will Ferrell. Super funny movie. It combines laughter, comedy, and Christmas. Super good. Uh, number two is Polar Express. I saw this in theater. And I just fell in love with it. Um, it's just, I don't know how you explain it. It just makes you believe in Christmas and, you know, changes this boy from needing to see to believe to actually just believing in Santa Claus or in the spirit of Christmas. Which brings me to my top number one favorite Christmas video movie. Yeah, favorite Christmas movie is the animated film of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Now I forget the actor's name who is the voice of the Grinch. Um, he is the one that also plays Doctor Strange and then Will Ferrell is like the narrator in that movie. Super good. I like, I don't know, the colors in that movie was so bright and vibrant and then like the storyline kept to how, you know, how the Grinch became the way he is and how he changed because of this little girl and yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. That is my top 15 favorite Christmas movies of 2020. Um, definitely will be watching more than 15, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> Anyways, yep, thank you for watching and joining me on Vlogmas Day 14. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 15. Alrighty, you guys, take care. Aloha!